Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Omniscient Reader chapters or episodes probably 40 and 41. I'm going to be incredibly real with you. Uh, things are going okay the past few days. You know, I don't want to jinx it. Hopefully it doesn't mess up during this video. Uh, but for a while there, I was having computer issues and it was really screwing with me. Like computer issues and a million other things messing with me. And it was hard to make longer videos. And every time I thought about Omniscient Reader, I'm like, okay, I'm going to be doing four chapters. It's probably going to be over an hour. I need to be prepared to do an over an hour long video. And compared to all the other things I want to do, I just don't 100% know if I can dedicate an hour plus for each video. And I just feel like... I would love to do longer videos, like I'd love to do longer videos, I'd love to do streams, but as I am now, I feel like what I have can't handle it. Um, but if it can, if things improve in the future, I would love to do longer things. Um, or if I can finally, finally afford to get some, like a better computer, then I would love to do stuff like that. But the way I thought about it, I was like, if it's going to take me like two or three weeks to do every Omniscient Reader video, that's too long of a wait. I would much, much rather, like I follow, um, I try not to look at his titles and thumbnails so I don't get spoiled. I follow Kick the Can Productions. Um, I'm sub to him. So I see that they do like every couple days it looks like a chapter. Like they're really, really pushing through Omniscient Reader. And I'd love to do just a chapter or two every couple of days if I could get to that kind of pace. Um, so yeah, I don't 100% know yet. I'd love to do longer videos, but if shorter videos work, if that's like, if that's something you'd prefer, even let me know, especially if it's something you'd prefer. Um, but yeah, just generally, I'm probably only going to do do two this time instead of four and I'll do another two next time but I'd rather do like a like one chapter or two and have these videos out at least once a week if not more often than once a week than to be like oh I'll do an hour long video and then you have to wait like two three weeks for it I feel like that's too long a wait but either way I guess let me know what you think should I do longer videos even if you have to wait would you rather do shorter videos that I can do at least once a week or so um just let me know. But yeah, right now, I just feel like I don't want to take the chance of messing things up by trying to record for, sorry, hiccup, trying to record for too long. I've even had some issues the past couple weeks recording things that are only like 20, 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry that it is this way, but that's the way things look like they're going, at least for right now. Um, so sorry if you were hoping for more in this video. Uh, but yeah, either way, I'm I'm very happy to do 40 and 41, though. So we left off. They got into this film that they were like, ah, Danny Korean person would know this. And I'm like, well, I don't. Um, it's some sort of naval battle. But this very important figure in the naval battle, uh, Captain, or I forget the exact rank, somebody that they needed at the charge of this uh, sort of thing, uh, they don't have, isn't there probably meddling via the cinema master or whatever. Um, so we're going to have to see how they manage to get out of this. I think the God of Naval Battles, something like that, is one of their, um, is one of their constellations. I don't remember which one it is. I think it is one of theirs, though, so maybe, hopefully, that should help. Uh, but either way, let's get back to reading. I've really, I feel like I've mentioned it a bunch, but I think Omniscient Reader has just constantly gotten better and better um, as I've read. It just fills itself in more and more. Um, but either way, we're starting with the effect of your attribute is improving your memory of the book you've already read. Why did Admiral Lee pick you when you get seasick? Oh? I don't know. I heard I was a descendant of some admiral. Or admiral. Maybe that's why. Don't tell me you're the descendant of Admiral Lee Sun Sin. And then... G.A. and he calls out. Okay, so it is her then. We saw that. We saw the G. Him yelling out G.A. at the end of last chapter. Omniscient Sunfish. I I really like that uh, title. Omniscient Sunfish, chapter er, part four, chapter nine. All right. Around episode forty of TWSA, when G.A.'s relation with Admiral Lee Sun Sin was revealed, the small number of readers that were still up or that were still around, got up in arms, about how a national hero chose his incarnation because of their relation. And then she's cowering, 
She yay. Hey, are you all right? Probably from the seasickness. The constellation, naval warfare god, pities Li Ji Ye or Ji Hye. I I can't. I I won't do it. Never. The constellation, naval warfare god, gazes at Li Ji Hye in sorrow. She's not talking to me right now. Ji Hye, get up now. The constellation, na or naval warfare god, encourages Li Ji Hye. No, you three take care of it. Can't you just hold, or can't you hold it for a little longer? Can't I what? You have no idea, mister. You have no idea. Yes, you always say that. But this isn't the time to be whining. I actually do know. I know you're not like this because you're seasick. This was your dead friend's favorite movie. And she looks shocked. Again, how does he know these things? Oh, and we're actually getting into the trauma of her killing the people in her class. We're actually, wow. How did you? It's not just that. I know practically everything about you. I also know the real reason why you were picked by Admiral uh, Lee Soon Sin when you hate the sea and don't really care for the greater good. The constellation naval warfare god gazes at Lee Ji Hye in sorrow. Then, are you from the Lee Dok Su clan? No, actually, I'm from the Lee uh, er, Junju clan. Ji Hye is actually a descendant of Admiral Lee's comrade in arms, Lee Ok er, Gi. Admiral Lee Ok Gi, and we see lived from um, 1561 to 1597. All of these, all of these historical figures dying super young always throws me. Died in the battle of um, Chil Chul Yang, um, along with Sun Xin Li. He died, or er, he led the Joseon army to victory in the Battle of Dang Hang Po and Han San Do. Uh, he was one of the few who, def er, who defended the Great Admiral when he was framed with treason, but he didn't leave behind enough stories to become a major constellation. It was an, honor er, it was an honorable thing to do f er, for Admiral Sun er, Lee Sun Sin to have chosen his friend's descendant as an incarnation. I'm sure he couldn't bear to watch his old friend's descendant turning into a demon after killing her friends. Well, that's her story according to TWSA at least. And we have a bounty scenario has been started. And then, those who seek death shall live, those who seek life shall die. It's a sub-quest with a B-plus difficulty. Clear condition, the naval warfare god has called for your help. Encourage Admiral, er, Admiral Lee's incarnation, Li Ji Hye, to lead the Battle of Myeongnang to victory. Um, time limit, two hours. Reward, one of the Great Admiral's stigmas. Penalty for failure, and there's nothing there. The Great Admiral stigma. I get to use his stigma without a support contract. Yeah, that's actually huge. So of course Dokja is going to want that. Like, that's huge, getting a power without having to make a contract and get a constellation. It kind of puts him on more even footing. I mean, as if the footing's really truly even with him, but it puts him on, like, you know, at least at face value uh, for other people. More even footing with the others. They're coming. S stop them. GTA, there's no time to explain. Get up. Are you gonna give up at, or like this after you've killed your friends to survive? Whether you live or die, you'll never be forgiven. But if you get back up right now, you still have the chance to save a few lives at least. And we have all these guns firing. Dokja blocking with the shield. Jihye. Wow. And we have a flashback to her and her friend. I, I'm disgusting. I, I don't deserve to live. Yes, you are. And so am I for taking advantage of you, Dokja thinks. I'm no different from Ji Hye who killed her friends to survive, when I'm using my knowledge of these characters to my advantage solely to remain alive. And again, he's still viewing the people as what they are to him, characters. The right to live in, er, isn't something you're given. You must earn it while you're still alive. It doesn't matter whether you atone for your past or keep living a despicable life. What matters is that you survive. Or do you? really want to die here. You now have an excellent understanding of Li Ji Hye. Uh, level 2 of Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint activated. I don't want to die. 
the constellation naval warfare god reacts to Li Jihye's show of will. Constellations do as they please. They don't always help when their incarnations ask for it. And many of them don't even bat an eye when their incarnations die. But no constellation ever misses the chance to help their incarnation when their story is involved. She pulls her sword. Li Jihye has acquired a new stigma. Li Jihye stigma, Ghost Fleet Level 1 has been activated. She stabs it into the ground. I've only ended up helping Yu Jun Kyuk get, er, helping Yu Jun Kyuk out in the end, but I still got something out of it, thinks Dokja. I still have. And then die, the people are charging in, but the boat gets thrown off. Twelve ships left to fight with. And we have this massive, or these massive columns of water coming up to destroy the enemy fleet. I would happily die where I stand. If I could have my vengeance. And then we're seeing that it says military commander on the ghost ships. Alright, so this is interesting. If she can just summon a fleet of ghost ships whenever from now on. Interesting. And we see the constellation behind her. She pulls her sword out. This is interesting. This is like... I don't know if we've seen a stigma being used presented like this yet, but this is such a good way of showing it, I feel like. And then they fire and all the ships start taking hits and oh my god, that's where it ends. Ah oh man, that was a really, really, really good chapter. Getting more, getting more into Lee Ji Hye and her actual character, the thing she's going through, and like calling back to her killing her class, which is... You know, in real life, a hugely insane traumatic thing. Uh, but, you know, it's fiction. Sometimes things like that kind of get weirdly ignored in a way. So it's like, did I know if that was going to ever be like brought up or important again? I didn't know. Um, but it's really, really cool how it was woven in here. Um, I feel like the power is interesting. I'm not sure how it'll be used in the future, but it's interesting um, that it's here. Uh, but yeah, either way, we got another to read, so I'm going to go on to the next one. It's actually going to be really difficult to stop reading after this one. But at the same time, I also just, I don't want to burn myself out reading too much either. But uh, yeah, either way, jumping over now to uh, episode 41. The girl who does not cry took command of the battlefield. And then we have all these uh, shots coming in at the fleet. We see Ghost Fleet, the powerful stigma that would make Li Ji Hye a naval commander. And she starts to go into attack on her own. It took no more than an hour. And we have more of the fighting. Again, more of the fighting, just taking in the art. Until the last remaining enemy ship sank. Omniscient Reader, uh, Episode 41, Chapter 9, Omniscient Sunfish, Part 5. We have all the remains and wreckage of the ships. The Cinema Master is content with the new ending. You've reached the fourth ending credit. Cast Kim Dokja, Jung Hui Won, uh, Ji Hye Lee, or Lee Ji Hye and Lee Gil Young. Um, you have each received 500 coins for your performance. And then I think that's going to be um, Hui Won reaching her hand out to Ji Hye. I feel sick again. You did good. That was awesome. The stigma of the Great Admiral overpowered much. She's too good to leave with Yu Jung Hyuk. The bounty scenario has been cleared. Come to think of it, I was to receive one of the Naval Warfare God's stigmas. Maybe I also get the Ghost Fleet. And he reacts to something. You've received the Naval Warfare God's stigma as a reward for completing the bounty scenario. You've received the stigma Sword Song. Sword Zong and his eyes start popping out. Ji Hye won't obtain this stigma till much later in the story. It's probably much more useful to me than Ghost Fleet is. So yeah, that's that's a big win. And then is it done? We see it looks like it's reacting in his chest. So I guess it's I mean it's called Sword Song. 
So I wonder. I guess that just means he has the ability now, or I was going to be like, can he pull a like ghost sword out of his chest? Sort of like the ghost fleet. Uh, but maybe that's just a visualization of him getting the power. He just gave me such a precious stigma. Maybe I could stand more of a chance on 8F because of this. Looks like we're going back to the theater. And then the constellation Naval Warfare, Go or Naval Warfare God expresses his gratitude. And then he looks over to see Jihye smiling, talking to the others. So again, he's the constellation's happy that Jihye was able to sort of overcome this. It was an okay ending, I guess. Now we have the Battle of Myongyang, and it's got to cut through it like the others. You can rest here for a while. We'll go rescue Yu Jung Hyuk, but just do as I say. There's no time to celebrate, just because I obtained a new stigma. The Cinema Master isn't someone who I can face while looking after the now vulnerable Ji Hye. After all I've done, to save Ji Hye and earn a new stigma, It'd be meaningless if this world ends from Yu Jun Kyuk's regression. Please don't be dead. I've used the ampules and the coins I've saved to sufficiently increase my stats. And we have stamina to 24. Ever, like, stamina and strength from 18 to 24. Agility from 11 all the way up to 20. And mana from um, 10 to 15. I just hope that Yu Jun Kyuk is alright. And you have entered ADEF, the Sky Garden. All right, and he finds um, he finds Yu Jun Hyuk. What, Dokja? Isn't that the guy, Yu Jun Hyuk? Didn't you say he was in danger? He looks just fine. Again, how do, how is all of this happening in this regression? And we have Dokja quickly stepping over to him and smacking him in the back of the head. Hey, Yu Jun Hyuk! My goodness, gosh, that felt so good. I'd love to hit him some more, considering the trouble I went through thinking he was in danger. You prick, how much- or do you know how much I wanted to do that? Huh? Something's not right. You, Jun Hyuk? Did I put him into a state of shock? Maybe he's angry that you hit him all of a sudden. Is this... could it be? And we have these wisps of black around him. Yu Jun Hyuk died in the cinema dungeon on his eighth regression. It wasn't because he was weak. It was because he was unlucky. And we have something there that the wisps are going to. And a hand. He must be the final boss of the Cinema Dungeon. And we see this old guy. Er, simulation, the Cinema Master, has revealed himself. Damn it, it's happened already. I was too late. The boss of the Cinema Dungeon is the polar opposite of Yu Jun Hyuk. Right now he's an empty shell, the Cinema Master's puppet. Or simulation, the Cinema Master has control over Yu Jun Hyuk. Hey, oh, wait, calm down, you, calm down, Yu Jun Hyuk. Why don't we talk? Damn it, this is the worst case scenario. Right now, there's no character who can stop. And again, he's saying character, not like there's no person or anything. What? And he gets hit in the chest and pushed back. Yu Jun Hyuk has activated the skill Force Palm, level four, and he throws Dok all the way back into the barrier causing him to cough up blood. Reinforced armor suit has been damaged. Your defense stats have been partially decreased. Dokja! Why you? And we have Hui Won, at, er, Hui Won um, reacting. Uh, Jung Hui Won has activated the skill Demon Slaying level 2. And he turns back to look at her. Alright. No, Hui Won isn't strong enough to face you, Jun Kyuk, yet. Damn it, I've lost my voice. And Dokja can't say anything to stop it. But she misses a slash and he grabs her wrist. And his other hand moves towards the side of her face, but she dodges back out of the way. She's able to kick his arm to get loose from his grip, or grip and flip backwards to gain some distance. This isn't going to be easy. But he, like, closes the distance basically instantly. Yu Jun Chuk has activated the skill. Hundred Step Fist, level two. And we hear this clanging as Jihye is running up the stairs. And then, you know, crash as she makes it up there. And she sees Hui Won thrown into the wall. Hui Won? And then, Jihye, watch out! Dokja's able to call out to her. 
right as Yujun Kyuk goes in for a punch. Master. And that's actually a really cool cliffhanger. I'm okay with ending there. That was pretty cool. That was a good chapter too. I'm interested. Like I said, I've been really enjoying Omniscient Reader. I think it's good. I enjoy it. It's really like not my favorite thing that I've been reading on the channel or anything. But yeah, I don't know. That was fun. That was enjoyable. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there. I like the characters, generally. I just feel like, if I'm going to be completely honest, I don't know, there's just something about it that I don't know if it feels fast or awkward or like the characters, I don't know if it's like I, I feel like there's not enough structure or if I feel like maybe we don't get enough of the characters talking as much as we get text boxes explaining this thing happened, then this thing happened, then this thing happened, then this thing happened, rather than it just like naturally being a progression of what the characters are doing and what they're saying and like, I don't know, a natural feeling way a story progresses. I don't know if that is because it is Korean media and I don't consume a ton of Korean media. So if it's a different in a difference in storytelling that I'm just not used to, um, but then again, like I read Tower of God and I don't feel that way with that. I don't necessarily feel that way with Kubera. Um, though, I mean, of course you can tell somewhat of a cultural difference. Um, so I don't know if it's because of that. I don't know what it is. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Um, not my, again, not my absolute favorite, but I am enjoying it so far and I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, since again, everybody else does love it so much. Um, but yeah. Either way, I'll end things here. Thank you so, so much for watching, though. Um, if you did like the video, you can like the video. Um, like if you liked it, uh, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of these chapters and my thoughts and reaction. Uh, subscribe for more. Omniscient Reader, much more on the channel. Like I said, I'll try to do it more often, but with shorter videos, I'll make my best attempt. Um, follow on Twitter if you want. If you want a link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you a link. It's free and open for anyone. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can drop a super thanks down below if you want to. Or if you want a shout out at the end of each video and to get one piece a little early, you can become a patron or a channel member. Just hit join down below to become a channel member. Or if you want to become a patron, it is patreon.com slash haku of the tubes or a link will be in the description. Um, thank you to people who are patrons and channel members. Thank you to Chosen Regular Evan Holly, Magical Girls, Fr Nono, Huarion, and Smeller Dog, Cheerton Student, David Langstaff, and Slayer Candidate SG. Thank you so, so much, and I'll see you all next time.